Hey everyone, it's Blunder Helix Alpha, or and, uh, I'm really sick, so my voice might sound really deep and weird, but uh, this is Gray. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys some Oblivion mods I made the other day. Um, this is actually not one, so I'm going to do this out of the way. Um, I basically made three, um, and there's actually, I have one with me right now. Um, this is... Take care. Wow, oh, there's a lot of noise. I'm going to turn the noise down. Okay, so this is the Great Sword. Um, I modeled this and textured it and put it in here myself. And it's really, really cool. I love it. It's, it works really well. So, uh, that's that. Next is the Melbourne Mace. And I actually have to drop the Reverence Sword to use this, because it's pretty heavy. Um, this one's really cool. It is really fun to use. Um, yeah, I mean... There's not a whole lot to say about these, but uh, it's really cool that I was able to model and texture these and put them in Oblivion, and uh, they look so nice, and uh, yeah, so this is the Melbourne Mace. Um, next up is... is the Jarrett X, which uh, might be a little bit difficult to pick up. Yeah, I think we'll have to reload. Okay. Let's see if I can pick this up now. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, I picked up the Magic Jeha wand. Sometimes you... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so we have the Jarrett Axe now, which is basically this. Which is a pretty cool looking uh, axe. And the next one is the Magic Jeha Wand, which is awesome. It um, is like really, really powerful. Watch. Oh, lag. Yeah, it's really laggy, but you can see that it really works, and it's pretty fun. So yeah, guys, those are a few weapons that I modeled, textured, and uh, put into Oblivion. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you later. Hopefully next video I won't be so sick.